I had been working with 3D scanning photogrammetry and I brought a number of people to a 3D scanning lab in London, got them to dress in costume in some cases, in their own clothes and others, experimented with different things. Effectively, they were, they were staged inside a, a, a lab where they were surrounded by cameras and there were 64 high resolution cameras firing off at the same time from all angles. And that created a digital model. So each one of the, the, the outputs of those would have been a, a virtual 3D model of the, uh, the posers. And in each case, the model was the starting point for what the picture became. It would bring the 3D model uh, into a uh, computer program and start creating the world around the, the, the whatever comes up came out of the scan. Um, and that was a slow, time consuming process because everything within the picture is a 3D model, so it's a wireframe mesh that's textured and lit and moved around like a, a, a virtual uh, stage set. Obviously it's a slow process and layering little subtle things and, and, and playing with the, the viewer's experience can happen in that in a way that I could never do in an immediate photograph of a person. You don't want the viewer to be able to categorise instantly and move on in a game of hooking the eye and making you think what you're looking at is one thing and then it's another and, um, and maybe that's part of what I was attracted to in this form uh, in, in, in working with something that is very slow. I used two scans of the same woman and there was an interesting tension between them. Um, it just worked in terms of the gaze of the one looking away in the distance and one looking straight out of the picture. Um, that was interesting to me. After having made it um, and wondering about it, one of the things that reminded me was a little bit of that Frida Kahlo double portrait, um, which had not been intentional in the process, but was possibly layered in my thinking in putting it together. And most of the time when something has a res resonance, you don't really know exactly why, but there's always, there's always those kinds of layers that are quite intriguing.